Okay, boys and girls, this art lesson is going to demonstrate how you can make your own clay uh, Van Gogh Starry Night. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a small piece of clay and just work it in your hands, get familiar with the texture, okay? And then you can roll it on the table, press it down, and you can use the palm of your hand to flatten it, or if you'd like, a rolling pin and if you use the rolling pin don't use the handles but use the center on top of the clay and you get an even press down an even pressure and then roll it and get it so it's like half an inch thick something like that okay if you have it too thin it'll be too brittle and it will actually snap you don't want it to snap on you and if it's too thick you don't want too thick and chunky either so when I look at these thicknesses here, you can see there and there, these are about the right thicknesses. Now I've got cookie cutters all in the shape of stars and they're all variations in sizes. So when you make yours, you can pick a big one and a small one. So you've got two, two different sizes if you wish. Now with my cookie cutter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it, make sure that it fits and then press it down. All the excess clay, pull off around the edge and there we are you'll have a little tiny pot of water and what you need to do with the water is just wet your finger and then just go around the edges and smooth the edges down and this actually just avoids any sharp edges when we actually put it in the kiln to bake okay so nice and smooth so there's our little star isn't he lovely now you with the excess clay take a little piece, smash it up in your hands again, roll it up and what I'd like you to do is actually roll it on the table and when you roll it, roll it until you make a nice fine worm and then you're going to be spiralling it, if you can see by this one here, on the surface and you can put the spirals, it's your choice where you'd like to put them, whether you want to put them on the corners or in the centre you can actually make it on top of your star or roll it like I'm doing in my fingers or on the tabletop. Whatever you feel comfortable with doing to make those spirals. Now this is going to mimic the clouds, the wind in Van Gogh's painting. I'm just going to set mine on the centre. Now to avoid that spiral, that swirl of clay to fall off my star, what we do is called scratch and attach. With a tool, I'm just going to demonstrate briefly here, I'm going to go round the edge and I'm going to press just a little bit, going round and round. So what we're doing is we're attaching it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go round the whole surface until it's completely attached. So if I show you one that I made slightly earlier, you can see how I've gone around and I've got the last little bit to do there scratch and attach okay and again just smooth it down smooth it so you got nice neat and then you can see that I've actually drawn spirals now you can do more relief which is using the clay to have the raised surface or you can actually carve into the clay and if you use the tool that I've got here and just draw into the surface okay I'm going to do all of them and the very last thing that I'm going to give you is a straw and with the straw you're going to poke it into the clay so that you create a hole that would be the last thing that we do once we've done our decorations so you can see here how I poked a hole with the straw and then I go right through and then I lift out again and that will be left so that we can actually hang these if we so desire. This one was all done with spirals just carved into the surface and as you can see the difference this one here was done with the raised relief using the clay as little worms and then spiraling them on the surface. We would then fire them and after they're fired we would then glaze them and when you glaze them we're going to use a yellow. We need to give two to three coats, three coats preferably and then we do a light blue and then we do a dark blue 
and every color has to have two to three coats. We have to let it dry. It's going to have a clear coat on the surface and then again we're going to fire it again and there you go boys and girls we're complete. What I'd like you to do is actually to make two at least. One for yourself and one for the school. So there you go now it's your turn. Let's go and make some art. <laughs>